So, nice day today. A bit stronger than yesterday. 73 kilometers, round about that. Round about 1500 meters of climbing. We've got some cracking climbs. Even better descents, which is the good news and lunch today at Chachi Piccolomini d'Aragona where we are going to try the famous Brunello wine of Montalcino. Great day. Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. And welcome to day two of my tour of Tuscany. We're riding 73 kilometers from San Quirico d'Orcia back to San Quirico d'Orcia. Apparently it's gonna be a tough day. Okay, I'm on a bit of a climb now. I'm not using the motor at the moment. It's about three, four percent. Calvin and Tim are a little way up the road. I'm gonna try and hold off using the motor as long as I can. I'm only about seven kilometers into the ride. And if nothing else, I've just got to conserve the battery. Looking at the profile on, on the crew, it's quite a long one. Another beautiful city centre, town centre. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Stunning, apart from the scaffolding. Yeah, stuff. but you know, you've got to get it right the sometimes. seen the film Gladiator. Some of that was filmed in the Val d'Orcia, which is where we are now. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And just over my right shoulder, there's a, an agriturismo called Terapile. And if you remember, think back to the film where, what was his name? It wasn't Spartacus, that was a different film. He was riding home to save his wife and child. It was on bare horseback, riding up a, a Cyprus line drive. That just happened a few hundred meters over to my right hand side. Beautiful territory, this beautiful. Just on 20 kilometers in, and it's about another 15 kilometers to our first main stop of the day, which is that town on top of the mountain just in front of me there. Well, it's all sunshine and rainbows while we're on these flats and little descents but uh, it's all going to take a bit of a sinister turn once we start the climb up to that restaurant. Just made the mistake of looking at the upcoming elevation on the Karoo. There's a little bump and then it's all uphill for about seven kilometers. We've just arrived in a place called Bagno Vignone and it's the original kind of Roman spa baths and I'm just about to dip my feet in the, uh, in the spa water. If it's rained, 
a yeah. few days before, the water temperature goes down. And if it hasn't rained for ages, I mean, it's steaming hot. I've been here and it's so hot, you can't get your feet in it. I mean, honestly, unbelievable. So let's just see what it's like. Oh, Leonard, get your feet in here, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I swear to you, sometimes I can't oh, wow. so hot. How are we doing, boys? Yeah, good. 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 A bit more power on, I think, from here on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good climb now. The next climb, if you look at the profile on your you know, computer, you'll see that it's quite heavy. <laughs> I did. I made that mistake already. But the descent is <laughs> more delightful. And then it's another ascent. And then it's another <laughs> ascent. But at the end of it, there are four bottles of wine waiting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that little interlude over. We start the climb now and uh, Tim's advised us all to use the motor, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Stop to admire the view and then back on the climb. Um, this is quite a long one and it's sort of varying gradient between six, seven, eight percent. But I'm flying up it doing 14, 15 kilometers an hour. But I am working as well. Currently, my heart rate is about 75 percent of my max. Another couple of hundred meters to the top. And when we get there, we've got about a 12 kilometer descent and then another climb. That, buddy? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Best 12 kilometers <laughs> ever. And probably the quickest. Definitely. Cracking mate, cracking. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Is that just the best descent? That was, yeah. I, I was very, very nervous descending that, but uh, taking it very carefully on those bends. But yeah, 12 kilometres, brilliant. Isn't it just? <laughs> and I've got another one for you this afternoon. Cool. sooner have we done that descent we're climbing again up the other side of the valley four kilometers at about six percent having the motor assist means that you don't have to use quite so much of your leg strength you have to rely a bit more on your cardiovascular system because it's just pedaling away at 90 revs per minute and that certainly gives you a bit of a workout now the descent I don't know how far down here we're gonna go I know we're stopping somewhere soon I expect I'll catch up with Tim and Calvin at some point soon Done that man. I think you've earned yourself a bottle of Brunello. Oh yes. <laughs> so here's our main stop of the day. We've stopped at a winery. We're going to have a wine tour and there's also a little cycling museum here as well. So we're going to have our meal there and we'll have a very quick look around the museum as well. Dating back to the 17th century, the current palazzo was built by Fabvis de Vecchis, Bishop of Montalcino. In 1877, the estate was bought by the Chiacci family and then bequeathed to Giuseppe Bianchini, a farmer working on the estate, in 1985. Giuseppe died in 2004 and it's now jointly owned by his two children, Paolo and Lucia. Paolo is a very keen cyclist and within the grounds of the estate is his quirky but very charming little cycling museum. As well as vintage bikes, artwork and team jerseys, it's also the place where guests can have a meal and sample the famous Brunello wine and olive oil. Well, that was a very pleasant refreshment stop at the winery and cycle museum. Um, and I'm now on my first ever Strada Bianchi. It's quite tough, 10% and I'm not using the motor. Okay, it's starting to get tough now. Bit of a climb. I think we've got about 20 k's before we're back at the uh, hotel. Um, I'm on the motor, but the battery is running down relatively quickly, so I do have to use it fairly sparingly. Okay, so 
I've had a bit of a word with myself and uh, this climb, although it goes on for another four Ks, at the moment we're two, three percent. And although the bike's a bit heavy, I can do that. So I've switched the motor off and uh, I've just thought I'd chug it up here as best I can and save the motor for any real steep stuff coming up. Final kilometre of this climb. Uh, don't mind admitting it's tough. I'm not using the motor. I'm sweating my bollocks off. But at least when I get to the top, I'll have a nice downhill and I can recover a bit. Oh, Natalie, friendly face. Oh, that was tough. Uh, you right? yeah. As you can see, I'm at some viewpoint, and that usually means you're at the top of something or other. And indeed, the Karoo kind of confirms that. So I think it's pretty much downhill for a little bit now. At least I don't have to use the motor and I'll conserve a little battery power. But while I'm waiting for the others to come up the climb, I'll just enjoy the view. Last three or four K now, and I'm on the motor. Why not, you know, I've got enough battery power. It's a bit of a climb, and I'm almost at the hotel. So yeah, let's just get the benefits of the motor. Well, there we go, that's uh, 70 kilometers in the bank of fitness. Um, yes, I did deplete the battery on the motor, but there were some pretty major climbs there. But it was a good day all round though, wasn't it, gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, yeah. No, great ride, thoroughly enjoyed it. You did well. Thank you. There's some killer climbs there, but what about those descents? Oh, they were amazing, absolutely fantastic, yeah. 13 kilometers, and then that one we just came in off the uh, Montalcino. Montalcino, that was incredible. Lovely road surface, super fast. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. More tomorrow. Yep, here we go. <laughs> <laughs>